Do you know where compounds go during the buffing process? It's probably not where you think. On a traditional flat surface pad at working RPMs, you're actually utilizing compound on the outer two-thirds of the buffing pad, but they always migrate to the center of the pad, which causes center saturation, which is wasting compounds, and it's causing center smearing and other problems that we've accepted for a long time in our industry. In our shop, we've designed the DRC-1000 Centrifugal Buffing Pad. DRC stands for Diagonally Recessed Center. What it does is, at working RPMs, it pushes compound out onto the working area of the pad, which is the outer two-thirds of the pad. As compounds try to migrate towards the center again, which they will, you'll see them puddle up on the very top edge of the conical shape in the center of that pad and wait to be utilized efficiently on the outer two-thirds of the pad. As I describe this pad some more, the outer two-thirds is actually the friction area. As you work your way out to the outer edge, you'll see it's tapered back, one and a half inches thick. That angled back area is usable buffing surface. You can utilize that surface any way you see fit. As you look at the top edge, you'll see it's slightly rounded, and this is to get into tight style lines of today's modern vehicles and it's rounded so you don't create a knife-like edge to burn through any surface coatings at working RPMs. If we flip our pad over, you'll see a recessed Velcro backer, which should be standard in our industry to protect that backing disc from the surface. You'll also see a 7 8 inch centering hole, which aligns to our backing disc that has the exact same 7 8 inch hole. What it's doing is giving you another visual alignment tool to make sure the pads center correctly. All right, let's take a look at what happens to compound um, on a traditional flat surface pad. Immediately, we're going to see the center wet with compounds. You'll see it drag in from the middle right here. You're going to see it start to smear the panel on the outer portion on the right side of your screen. Watch it drag around. Up here on edge, you'll see the technician push compounds out on the outer two-thirds to be used. And then we'll buff a little more, come right back around. You'll see the center saturation right here causing smearing, wasting compounds, which some compounds in a, um, have reached over $100 a gallon. Uh, we just can't afford to waste that kind of compound anymore. Uh, you have more time cleaning the pad or changing the pad out, and quite frankly, uh, that center moving so slow is almost impossible to, uh, to clean it until it actually dries. So you really are looking at changing pads to get a, uh, an efficient job done. Well, let's look at the DRC-1000. Uh, the diagonally recessed center right here is going to immediately push compound via centrifugal force to the outer two-thirds of the pad. You'll see no center dragging, no center saturations, no smearing on the right side of your screen. The technician is going to go up on edge here. You'll see a line of compound on the outer two-thirds being utilized. And look at that puddle in the middle being utilized, shoved right back out onto the outer two-thirds where the friction can take care of it and break compounds down the way they were meant to be used. Very efficient, saving us money on compounds, time on the panel, time off the panel. Let me show you a quick demonstration of our first patent, the original pad conditioner. This was an industry's first for cleaning foam and wool buffing pads on the buffer. You can see it's cleaning the outer two-thirds of the pad, nylon bristles applied to the working surface, busting off that compound buildup, gets you a faster, better job saving you some money. A really great tool. Okay, we're going to show you the DRC-1000 applied to a Volkswagen Beetle. The reason we picked the Beetle, uh, rounded fenders, rounded hood, concave front fascia, but this area right here, the A-pillar, mirror that sticks out, fender that sticks out, and let's focus on that outer surface edge, the rounded edge. You'll see it here conform to the A-pillar, it's hitting the fender, we have no worries at all right there hitting the fender again of that edge burning paint. We're going to watch it conform here to the A-pillar to hood gap. We're going to watch it right here around the lamp. And it's walk in here full confidence at full RPMs that we're not going to have any worries whatsoever that this pad's going to perform the way we need it. Move on to the front fascia where it's concaved and we got some grooves on the hood to fender and fascia gap. You can easily see how the rounded edge and one and a half inches of foam gets in there very easily. Let me quickly recap the video. We watched on a traditional flat surface pad. Compounds migrate to the middle 
and cause us problems that we've accepted for a long time in our industry. Well, what it's doing is it's wasting our compounds and it's wasting our time. The DRC-1000 solves those problems. Let me go over the six features. 7 8 inch centering hole aligns to our backing disc with the same 7 8 inch hole for front side alignment. The DRC keeps compound out onto the working area of the pad, the outer two thirds of the pad, via centrifugal force at working RPMs. Let's follow that working surface outward to the outer edge which is slightly rounded. This gives us confidence at working RPMs that we're not going to burn through any, any surface coatings and, and create a knife like edge. The thickness of the pad is one and a half inches and that gives us a usable buffing surface however our buffing skills see fit. We flip the pad over and you see a recessed velcro backer. The recession fits our backing disc for quick pad alignment from the back side and it's also recessed to protect the backing disc from hitting a panel at working RPMs and that should be standard in our industry. Thanks a lot for checking out the DRC1000. We think you'll feel the same way we do that it's the most versatile pad that we've ever used. Thanks for your time.